Hello everybody, my name is Scott, but today we're going to be talking about why the cities need trees. This is a pretty fun topic, so we're going to be talking for today. Well, we're going to go through a tale first. In 3000 BC, there was a, con there was a city called Ur. It was a densely populated country, a densely populated city, sorry. And that country just starts to increase, increase the amount of person each year or each month, I said. Well, this capital has to explain their irrigation system bigger so that they can help for the country and for all those populations to live in and to have sources to live okay well as Uruk grew farmers trapped down trees for our culture to grow like that country was populated but there's not too many places so they cut down trees so that they get place to plant trees to grow more for more crops. But in another city called Anurahapura, Anurahapura, trees were scarred in that country. Religions there and people there love trees. They love how trees help them and they love how trees really was something beautiful. The country even led the city to plant additional trees in urban parks and to plant more trees. Well, in 2000 years later, those people in Earth were starting to die out of water because they cut out all those trees. But now, right away, people in Anura Tapura also still love and plant trees. Today, in this year, people still grow trees and take care of trees. There are some of them are even 20. 2,000 years ago. Yeah, that's really, really old, right? Well, today, trees have been an, part, uh, an essential part of successful cities because there are some benefits. First, trees act like a natural sponge. A natural sponge? Think about it. Usually, when you have a sponge, right? Like, we can do it. I want to take on a sponge that I have at my house. Okay, I'm back. This is a piece of sponge, right? Whoa. See that? Well, this sponge was really special. Imagine this sponge was just like the root of a tree, absorbing storm water. When water falls down, those waters be inside the sponge or inside the root so that there would be no flooding. Let. So imagine I have a box of water here. I'm going to use it for experiment. Be careful because this water can split over. I'm really scared of this water. Okay, let's go and see. I'm just going to pour a small amount down inside, okay? When I pour these waters down, see it's gone, it's not going to float. But look at it. It's starting to be inside of the sponge, right? It doesn't come out. It starts to be inside the sponge. Okay, you see that? That is something really, really, really fun, right? And the same thing happens to those trees those trees also act like this sponge like they doesn't 
next auto swarves comes out at all. But they let me clean this first. Okay. But they just start to come, but the water starts to come and can come in to act. And it's really cool. Yes, yeah, really it's cool. Okay, so let's come back. No more of those. That's going to be really dangerous if I pour any water on my laptop. Yeah, next. And the weeps of the roots protect against mudsides. It helps prevent floods. Yes, act like a natural sponge. Helps prevent floods. And humans has been carrying these arboreal benefits for years, for centuries, I must say. Trees affect our mental health as well. Think about that. Trees affect our mental health. That may sound something like crazy, but City planners began to embrace the important urban trees today. Hospital patients with views of brick wall are recovered more slowly than those with views of trees. Imagine that. Trees affect your mental health by helping us to be less stressed. Think of nature. Some people like us think nature as and something that's unconnected to urban space. But trees have always been a friend to our life. Trees have been a part to every successful cities. But you see, trees are something really important. Maybe some of people will still hate trees, but I don't. And I hope you don't too. And even if you don't know how to plant trees, then remember just always do the things that you can. Tell other people about how important trees are and see if they understand. And some people who cut down trees for building things, tell them about that. If there's a family member in your family,